Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Jimmy Browning from BH Foundation. And we thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see something that we don't see that often, which is a new French drain being installed at a house out here in Hudson. Uh, for a lot of you that uh, maybe don't understand what a French drain does or what it is, I was gonna ask Jimmy if he could maybe explain a little bit. Jimmy, to give our viewers a little bit of an idea of what a French drain is and uh, why you would have to replace one. A French drain usually, so you have your foundation wall, yeah. the foundation sits on a pudding. Your pudding's about 12 inches thick. The, the French drain sits beside there, so your membranes will draw the water down to the, to the French drain system. Uh, the reason being is because obviously your foundation is dug into the ground, which means in some areas you'll be inside of the water table. So if you leave the water sitting there, a lot of the time there'll be a the joint between the, the pudding and the foundation, water can access through there and then it will come up through your floor inside your basement. Other ways you can get in is cracks of windows or any points along the foundation where you can get a crack, water can uh, come in through there. So doing the, the membrane in the French drain system keeps the water down in the area, one, and two, it, it reinforces and keeps everything dry so that your basement can stay dry and you can have a finished basement like this one. So we dig all the way down to the footings, we install a French drain down beside the footing, we put membranes on the wall, we fix any cracks, reinforce anything, make everything uh, better than it was in the view. Uh, and then we uh, put gravel on top of the drain, GFX style, and we back the And uh, we put clean outs all the way around in the window wells, so as if we can clean the system every couple of years, make sure everything's working good. Cool. So when the water gets down the membrane and gets into the French drain, where does it then go and how does it get drained out? So we pour through the footing at the bottom of the, the foundation system, and we go into a sump pit inside the house. Uh, different bylaws in different areas spe speculate where the drain system needs to go uh, from the sump system. So we pour in, we do a new sump pit, and then it goes into the sump pump and the pump pumps it out onto the water out. Okay, so this is the French drain that we use. It's covered in a geotextile. And uh, the French drain itself is perforated, so meaning it has a lot of little holes all the way around it. So if water comes from a below or above, it will enter into the drain system. The drain system is level around the entire foundation. Once it gets to a certain height, it will start draining into the sub pit as we were speaking about before. Uh, so this is what we use here. For this home especially, we've got a lot of feet, so we have a couple of rolls here ready to go. So uh, typically, you guys are doing a French drain job. Um, if you got a house built in the 50s or 60s, uh, when you guys go to inspect that, or when we have a plumber who does an inspection of the French drain, what is something that you'll typically find in an older home? In older homes, you'll either have a cement French drain or a terracotta French drain, or no French drain at all, because especially in the 50s, it wasn't code. It wasn't until the late 60s, early 70s that it became code to have a drain. Now, it's not code on what we do today. It's, it's nothing like it. It was, it was only code to put a drain into the ground. It wasn't code to... Uh, have clean out system, have a proper membrane on the wall, anything like that. So what we do today is over overcoat, like we, we go above and beyond because we, we give good warranties on our work so we want to be able to withstand our warranty. Um, and we install the clean out so if we can clean it we can do camera inspection. On a 50s home, if the camera can even get in, uh, usually you'll find uh, anything from high PSI clay, iron ore, ore gravel, uh, tree roots, tree roots, like all kinds of stuff. Especially the old clay tiles, they just sit together like this, so stuff can get in between the and two. They tend to collapse there after yeah. a few years. Uh, you can throw a rock at a piece of clay tile and it'll break, just like a, a terracotta pot plant or something like that. So the most important thing, basically, uh, if you're protecting with a French drain system, is a dry basement, right? Yeah, so you're protecting the foundation of the home, one, uh, because water keeps coming into the, through the foundation, it can cause more cracks in the foundation, and it can start to cause shifting, uh, which can cause more issues in the future. Uh, so keeping the basement dry is obviously step number one, and step two would be to uh, make sure that you're not going to have structural failure in 20 years down the line. This is the French drain that we're working on at the moment. You can see the membrane only goes about four and a half feet up, whereas the dirt goes eight feet to nine feet up. So that means the membrane should be at that height. The other thing you can see that's wrong on this foundation is the form pins about a foot and a half down. The form pins are a piece of metal from outside to inside from when they form the concrete. 
they can rust and over time that's an infiltration point. So you can see every foot and a half, 16 inches, you've got an infiltration point. Down at the bottom of the foundation, you can see there's a gap between the footing and the, the foundation wall. That's your second infiltration point. The two reasons why we're doing the French drain on this home. Awesome. Thanks, Jimmy.